Here we are now live. I got MMT right here. They verified a two teeny. They verified half bar. They verify 10 and 20. They verify where that intraday low is taking place. Now, the thing that we like about it is that you learn to work with 50 shares. You have a lower amount of risk. You can see how your diamond support levels will hold or not, right? Right through here at this teeny line. The lower teeny line is where you would look at adding more. But, and this is on Apple computer. And you just want to watch the bid and the ask, it's just, here it is, 25 by 27 cents, 24 cents printing, okay? And you're finally got a breakout, and it's in the video right here on that 369. Now, I gave you permission to do that. So for the ones who wanted to do that, that needed to understand how turns take place, and you want ascending diamonds like this right here, in a turn that is and you want to see how the diamond resistance levels take it out that's why you only do 50 shares and you buy the teeny line here this is the, the diamond supports this is a lower teeny line maybe we add 200 shares down here but we take a small entries and with a turn at resistance has taken place once again intraday trading apple computer off a major low of intraday. The time is 8.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1.26.2012. And here they are at the teeny resistance 50 at 45, line. 13. All right. At 45, so you got, you're getting in right up here at the top of the breakout at resistance. Is that what I'm hearing? Right. Okay, you see where the turn was where I was telling people other MMTs to get in over here that it was turning here. So you're going to get the breakout. But remember, from your timing and engagement, your upside profit will be limited to the next uh, up to 446 uh, right in here where my pointer is. You got to take out those teenies. Now, what you would do is when it comes back down just like you've done every day and where these are going to hold you would put a limit order on a maybe get wicked in down here but be ready to buy that breakout we've done these together and where you could go one two three teenies is up here and that's where you want to catch that move now and you're at 33 you're at 11 here now and this is now right mr gibson so yeah. You want to be aggressive when these diamond tops, and you don't want to wait around either. You just would. See how you're getting your diamond support levels here on these turns? Yes. Everyone? You see how you're getting, but you got to get more strength above 35. Otherwise, you can't take the diamond. This has got to go to zero to the plus. It's minus 11 still, which is weak. But now it's got to build strength from here. And it's got to build it off of these diamonds. So put your limit order. Maybe you add another 100 shares all the way down here on a wick. Test these half bar. Half bar right here is 445.01. And right now okay, you're, tra you're, tra yep, you're breaking higher, aren't you? Update me on the NASDAQ, please. Update me on the NASDAQ. 19. NASDAQ, NASDAQ 19. is 24.62.13. It is over the bottom. The low was 24.58. All right. Uh, but it's between uh, on, on a half hour chart. It's between the, yeah, the two the, averages. All right. Thank you very much. It looks like confirming that, that the futures are down at a triple bottom in the E-mini. And they're rolling up, but then they're breaking below the lower trend line. And Apple has fallen suit. So what you would want to do is put the limit order all the way back down here to like 440, 4.50, let's say. And see if you can get hit. See, the prints are 445.13. Put limit orders down there and see if you hold that. 
But just know this, right here, that this E-mini future is about to break a triple bottom. And if it does, it means you're getting some more intraday bear volatility on the other side of the tape that January has yet to display. So if you break this area here, then Apple is going to get weak here. So you got to get down there below the market at that first test. So if you want to get wicked in, if you're not in, and you want to test the lower support level in price, you would do the following. And I can show you what I would do is that Apple is displaying the test right here live. You see that, MMT? What I'm saying is put your limit orders over here between these two diamonds and see if you get a wick all the way down here and then you would bounce from that 12 minute movement but look at that diamond here low look at this diamond breakout and look at how the name enter a day and we're almost two hours and 30 minutes into the opening bell that was the first bottom this is the secondary one MMT and you're not going above 35 in the IR of course you're going to fall weak but look at that support level. So put limit orders down here and trade and watch this bar right here. It's 445.01. That's the one that we're talking about. And you're still well above it. And then you got 444, let's say, 61 cents. Okay? But you're still weak if we break those bottoms on those NASDAQ futures then, of course, you're going to come down and test it. And you are right now, MMT. So here you come. That's why I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. Price line is at zero. Okay. It's falling off the planet. Yep, you got a good reversal of 537.56 on the high, printing 526.42. That's why it's on zero. Thank you very much. You will look and see that... We are getting some more selling volatility. So watch that Apple trade. I'm still live, and I'm watching them both. But you know what? That's why I'm saying keep that teeny order down here where the two diamonds are. And put the limit order out now. Cancel all. Go down to 4.40, cents right down in here, and see if we undercut that diamond or not. If that diamond holds that support and wants to break higher, then we could take a look at adding it. Right now, it is pulling back because I'm about to break that triple bottom live on that NASDAQ 100 futures. And here I am. I'm selling through it right here. I'm going to come down and test that diamond right here, right where my pointer is. And there it is. Put that down here at 44.10 now and see if you can come down, see if you can break these diamonds. Okay? You're breaking support on the S&P 500. And you're finally starting to see some downside volatility. But it, we've seen this a week ago. And it seems so far in the calendar of January, two of the last Fridays in a row is where equities got marked down. And then that bull rally came right back in at support levels and took them higher. Marked them all the way up to the current highs. And that the market is displaying finally a exhaustion in price so it would say that at each level of the intraday highs MMTs is where you would start to see the bear volatility return in the tape and 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 that's taking them from the high and 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 printing them down back toward the lows yes I did say 444.10 let's keep it at that watch this diamond right here so if you break the diamond, you see the price here, okay? And that's your lower price line. There's nothing to be fearful of it, but the 10-minute is kind of bent now. And that puts you 70 cents below the current bid and ask. So that way you're not paying retail in here. But you're going to see if there's anything to this bottom at 9.03 a.m. Pacific Standard Time date 
126-2012. Now, MMT, you're here live in the market, true? But now, innocent people watching the video, hey, these things have already happened. They're not telling you to buy or sell or do anything. What they're doing, though, is telling you how the bottoms and the tops and how they get built, they start to build at higher teeny level. So that would be a teeny expansion, which is 67 cents right here. And we have to get back above here, but it's weak. This move is weak, but it is a bottom. The only problem is you can't have these big reversal bars. That's the support. That's live. 